people refer to Good Kid Mad City as like the Illmatic of the West Coast. And, you know, Naz is always one of the greatest lyricists. It'd be, it'd be dope if you guys got on a track together, right? Yeah, it'd be crazy. It'd be crazy. I finally met Nas. It was brief. It was brief, but I actually met him, pounded, shook, shook hands. He told me how much he respect the album and stuff. So um, that was a step. That's a step, you know, to actually yeah. having a, a conversation with him would be the next step, you know. God willing, we get in the studio. What's next for TDE? TDE, what's next? Schoolboy Q. Right. Schoolboy Q, that's what's next. Oxymoron, uh, he's in the studio working hard. Finish. How's it sounding? Ah, crazy. <laughs> crazy, man. Crazy, crazy. I don't like to give too much up, you know, because that's, yeah. you know, that's for him to do. That's, right, that's right, his right. project, that's his baby, but from what I heard, and just being, you know, around the vibe session, man, the dude is incredible. And so, it'll, it'll be in talks, it'll be in talks once it drop. There must be one joint you can tell us to look forward to. One joint, um... Why not? A joint me and him is on. <laughs> a joint me and Q is rocking out too. Yeah, we got some crazy stuff. How's Absol getting on? Absol is crazy. He, he's cooking up right now. So you know how we, you know our process of takes. You know, we, once we hit that one, that artist off, then bam, we already ready, ready to go. And our whole thing is work ethic, man. That's some top dog told us a long time ago. So we always got to be ready. You know, we ain't banking off uh, just one person's success. We all successful at the end of the day. You know, and we all want to establish. Um, us as individual, you know, superstars, and then maybe one day the world get that collective, that that that, that black collective. Yeah. Now I, th I think people are fiending for that album. It's only gonna get even more potent in the anticipation, right? Definitely, definitely. Once Q drop his joint and they see what's happening, you know, J Rock and Absol, then you know that definitely be well anticipated. It's a beautiful thing, like the way that you brought out Emily Sunday on stage to do, you know, yeah. bitch don't kill my vibe. Yeah. It's like. Any of the UK artists you're looking to work with? Emily Sandy is is one that I'm well familiar with. I'm not gonna sit up here and say I know, you know, drop some names that I, I don't know. Um, but she really basically opened me up, knowing that it's incredible, incredible talent out here. Not only on, on the R&B and vocal sides, but some of the stuff joints that she played me on the hip hop side has been pretty crazy. So now I'm just really gotta, you know, spread spread my journey out on this side and really focus on how much talent is out here because I'm willing to op you know, open or work with anybody that's really creative and have that passion the same as I have no matter where you're from. I care if you're from Compton or Berlin or whatever, London, as long as you have that passion. Small world, right? Yes, sir. It's definitely <laughs> is. It definitely is. All right. So what, what's happening in the streets of Compton right now? What's happening in the West Coast? Because, you know, you, you, you've done something which hasn't been done for a long time and especially like on the West Coast as well. It's like, how, how, how's the scene out there right now? Who should we be looking out for aside from the TDE people? Uh, we're proud right now. We're proud right now uh, from the successor and critically acclaimed um, of my album. You know, it's, it's, it's a great energy out there. You know what I mean, a lot of people are moving out there. They grab some of that, soak some of that energy up. A lot of artists too. Um, yeah, we're, we're real proud, man. Um, a lot of a lot of incredible artists. I'm sure you already know of. Uh, we still. Still grinding, Dom, Nipsey, uh, Skeen, Casey Veggies. Uh, I can go down a whole list, mm -hmm. man. So that energy is still there, man. We're willing to make our mark, not just with one artist, but mm -hmm. us as a whole. Mm -hmm. what, what do you hope to accomplish further, like in terms of what you're doing? Um, continue to um, elevate, you know, the art, you know, a uh, form of hip hop, you know, because. When I go out in these crowds in these schools, a lot of these kids, you know, don't even know about a concept album. Mm. You know, they're 16, 15 years old. So for somebody of that generation, you know, to reintroduce that to them, that's inspiring the next kid, you know, to be better than Kendrick Lamar or Jay-Z or J. Cole or whoever, you know. So if I continue to challenge myself and, and, and make albums that I feel uh, stand against time, um, I think that's, that's, you know, the ultimate as far as, you know, being in hip-hop and doing music, so continue to inspire people, inspire the next artist. Is that Cole and Kendrick Lamar album, is that, is that reality? <laughs> we got a few joints, <laughs> we got a few bangers in the cup. Don't make it like the detox, man, no disrespect to Drake. That's what people call it now, <laughs> that's what we call it now. But if they only knew, detox got some crazy records in the cut, so I'll put that together with me and Cole joint. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. Right, right, right. All right, well listen, Kendrick, man, thanks for taking the time out. Yeah, man.
Thanks for hitting up the streets of the UK once again. As always, wish you the best of luck, man. It's like, yes, you got any advice for up and coming artists? Man, um, I mean, it's proof, proof. Simtex can show you proof. Start in your own backyard first. Start in your own backyard. I was in that backyard. He was in that backyard, yeah. and, and that's all I had at the moment. All I had mm. was, you know, Compton behind me, mm. you know, and a few sporadic different other spots. But my city believed in me first, you know, and if your city don't believe in you, then nobody else would. You know, I, I wouldn't be over here and have a crowd full of people singing my songs if I didn't have my city support first. Uh, you start with that brick, man, you have a whole wall at the end of the day. Mm.